Tesla has just released a new software update. 14 different changes have been made to Tesla cars. 14 changes. Let's have a look at what exactly those 14 changes are. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back. Yes, I'm back. Not as I normally would be, unfortunately. Sorry. If I sound a bit weird, my ear is just completely blocked. Who knows if things will ever go back to normal. Feels that way. Anyhow, Tesla cars, will they ever go back to normal? No, of course they won't. There's been hundreds of updates to Tesla cars over the past few years on their software system. Now, many other brands, they say, our cars, they have software updates. They're fully functional over the year. Then they have recalls. You've got to go drive them back to the dealership. They have changes with software. And it turns out you do have to do it at the dealership. That's very, very common. Fortunately, with your Tesla car, or if you're thinking of getting a Tesla car, I make no money saying this, but the truth is you just have to be connected to the internet and then your car will make these changes. But it really does depend on where you live, different factors as to when these software updates will be available for your car. So you'll get a notification in your car or on your phone using through the app telling you when these new, these 14 new features will be available for you. So what are they? Number one, there is a charge on solar. Tesla owners with solar and Powerwall can now charge their vehicles using excess solar energy. And this feature allows users to choose the amount of charging source from solar power versus other available sources. Now, before I go on, I should mention this software update, uh, you might be at a certain level, so I'll say what it is. It's 2023.26. 0.26. Now, number two is Spotify Refresh. You can enjoy an enhanced Spotify experience with a more familiar look and feel. Access your music, playlist, podcasts, and audiobooks seamlessly through the Tesla app launcher. Premium connectivity is required for this feature. So you'd have to pay to be connected basically to the internet in your Tesla car in order to get that feature. Number three, automatic headlights. Headlights now turn on automatically when windshield wipers are activated and headlights are set to auto in controls, lights, headlights. This feature improves safety and convenience during inclement weather. So obviously when you're driving and it starts raining, it can get dark and sometimes you don't realize that, hey, it's getting dark because of the rain clouds. It can make a big difference in fact. So the car basically will turn the headlights on at the same time as the windshield wipers probably makes it makes a bit of sense from the data that i've seen it is safer in that situation to drive with your headlights on people are more likely to see you number four destination closing soon navigation now displays if your destination is closing soon or might be closed by the time you arrive this addition provides timely information for better trip planning obviously you don't want to arrive at a place when it's closed so the whole point of this is to notify you that by the time you get there, will it still be open? Will it be closed? And let you know so you're not wasting your time. Number five, Bluetooth game controllers. You can use Bluetooth controllers to play games in the arcade. Pair your controller by opening the Bluetooth panel and following the instructions. PS5 controllers are recommended and the owner's manual provides further information. This would be good for my boys. We have, I think we have a PS5. I have to double check that, but I think we do. Anyhow, good for entertaining the kids if they're getting bored. Number six, camera view on Tesla app. You can view multiple cameras simultaneously when checking your vehicle's surroundings. You can access this feature by going to your vehicle settings in controls, safety, view live camera via mobile app. Premium connectivity is required. Number seven, Warmer display colors. Set your touchscreen to automatically adjust to warmer colors at night. Go to controls, display, reduce blue light to enable this feature. I really like this feature. If you've got people in the car, you obviously don't want blue light for them. If they want to sleep, like when I've driven from Melbourne to Sydney, Melbourne to Newcastle, Melbourne to Brisbane, I've done that a few times. In fact, last week I drove from Melbourne to Newcastle. It was a pretty long drive. The boys are pretty bored and they actually went to sleep for most of the trip. But obviously reducing blue light's good for them to sleep better. But also it's good for me. And I was actually driving along and I'm thinking, how do I dim the light on my touchscreen? 
And yeah, this obviously automatically does this, so it can automatically adjust to the light available to you. Number eight, recents and favorites are now in separate tabs in the media player. Number nine, sliders for volume, temperature, and charge limit adjustments are now more precise. Number 10, sentry mode now records if someone tries to open a locked door or trunk. So it'll automatically turn on if someone tries to open your door or the trunk when it's locked. Now, of course, you can turn that on or off. That's just an added feature. Number 12, access the owner's manual and release notes more quickly with the new manual app. Number 13, automatic navigation provides more detailed information about your destination. And number 14, the last one is Swiss French keyboard option is now available. Probably not that relevant to most people outside of Swiss or Switzerland. Tesla is making some pretty significant efforts here to improve its app features, but I've noticed on Twitter, squeaky wheel gets the grease. Unfortunately, that's just the way of the world. That's where things are. If you post something on Twitter, you can sometimes get Elon Musk's attention and then sometimes what you want to get changed or improved or added will be done. Not always, but that does happen sometimes. Now, if you're new to the Tesla ecosystem, there's been six very significant software changes to Tesla vehicles over the last few years. Those include changes to autopilot and full self-driving capability. It's been improved constantly. I think we're gonna see some massive improvements now with Hardware 4. Hardware 4 is the new system New, basically new computer system coming out in Tesla vehicles that will enable cars, Tesla's cars to have more cameras, much higher megapixel cameras, and be able to also integrate that data and use it better. Number two is range and efficiency improvements. Only a few years ago, Tesla improved the range and the efficiency of its vehicles for free. It was a software update and it was improved by around 5%. So was power, in fact. There was a 5% power increase in Tesla vehicles which didn't cost anything. Number three, enhanced charging capabilities. Tesla's dedication to optimizing battery performance has led to significant range and efficiency improvements through software updates. If you look at other cars with the same exact battery pack that are smaller than a Tesla car or uh, smaller and heavier somehow, they often get less range. And that applies in the real world as well as in the so-called WLTP testing. Number four, new features and user interface updates. Now, user interface updates are very, very common. Tesla changes the user interface. Sometimes people don't like it because they're used to the old one, which is understandable. I'm a bit like that, but that's one of the things they do to try and make it easier to use because it's very, very complicated. There is so much data you can get that it's fun for people who are interested in data, for people who are not. It can be a bit confusing. Tesla is obviously trying to make it less confusing. Number five, safety and security enhancements. Things like sentry mode have been improved significantly, whether it's activating during a car crash, while you're driving now, there's cameras that record constantly. When your car is parked, big differences there. Now, Tesla's commitment to safety is evident in its safety scores. It's routinely wins the safest car in Euro NCAP testing and therefore the Model S and the Model Y right now are the two safest cars in the world according to Euro NCAP. So what Tesla has done over the last few years is make updates to the autopilot system, collision avoidance systems, and driver assistance functionality. Tesla has also addressed security concerns promptly by deploying security patches and updates to protect against potential vulnerabilities. I think it's fair to say and even mainstream media would agree on this. They've mentioned this a few times. In fact, different sources, even CNBC, surprisingly, that Tesla's over-the-air updates have revolutionized the way that vehicles are updated. In the past, if you want to change this to your car, it wouldn't happen until a new model year, and you had to go and buy a new car. It was a completely different way of operating. Tesla has very much pushed other automakers to do this sort of thing. So if you've got a different brand of car, and this is happening in your car, well, that's fantastic. But realistically, it's fair to say that Tesla has pushed other companies, more, like, more than likely the brand you've bought, into doing these sorts of things. I absolutely love this. Getting free features, especially safety features, is a huge benefit to buying an EV, in particular, to buying a Tesla. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.